and then the slogan about digital India. This is an initiative taken by government of India to speed up the process of delivery of different services. So to say, we have to reach the gap between the service provider and the people. So this is a program where we are giving you awareness about different services provided by this college and we are invited also other departments. Maybe they will just come to this place. They will also advise you about the different services, suppose banking services. So I invited Zulu Hat, DJ Bank. He will advise you about different services provided by bank. In the meantime, I request Zulu Sultan so declare this camp open. My warm welcome to my guests and my students to this awareness program. And at the very outset, I would like to request all of you to be uh, positive in this program so that whatever awareness you will receive from this expert, you will successfully implement that so that the vision of our honorable Prime Minister is fulfilled. I declare this program open. Thank you. Thank you. Now I invite one of the students from the Millennium College students, yes, sorry, Millennium College so forth, Absa, she will come on the dais and speak on the topic. To begin with the great name of Rabbi Alami and to begin with the great name of my Nabi, Yuvok Nabi, and the Nabi of Komo Makan, Sadallahu Rati Wasallam. Respected chief guests and respected staff and dear teachers, to whom I have a great love, respect, and deep as my as my parents and dear audience, Assalamu Alaikum. Today's topic is Digital India Awareness. Let me first explain what digital means. Grammatically, it is just you and it has three senses. Number one, of a subject or a device that represents magnitude in the digital. Number second, display number rather than scale position. Number third, related to or performance with the figure. So, Digital India, a flagship program of the government of India, to transform India into digitally empowered society and knowledge economy. The focus is also being transformed to release Indian talent information technology. So the region of India program means that inclusive growth in the areas of electronic services, production and job opportunities. So the program sets off on three key vision areas of infrastructure as a utility and um, season governance and services on demand and the digital empowerment of the season. So the program has been initiated and coordinated by the Department of Electronic and Information Technology in cooperation with various sets of monetary departments and the state government. The institute are to inform to allocate, to animate the season to organization of the event at large number of the digital points of the present, such as post office, sometimes schools, police and universities. Connect to all seasons through digital media content and the event. It was all about video services and the benefits of the program. Water arrives and expands the reach of external services, planning and learning services. So, 
sure. This case sees us all in safety, mission, cyber, cyber security, cyber heading, assure data utilization of the digital infrastructure during the week and beyond. Incentivize, motivate, and summit the season with the Digital India program. So, we are great. The present life is incomplete without digital apprehensive. Number one is the digital camera, digital clock, digital communication, digital computer, and the digital camera and the digital voice. So, we must not turn blindness towards digital era. In today's cyber age, we have test tickets, airliners, railway tickets to this blessing of digital systems. The online banking, the great system, thousands of employees, the record keeping of employees, students build stores and processes through this digital system. This digital system has not saved the precious time of human beings, but saved the paper material also. In the last, let me tell that blessing of silence in terms of digital systems is part of our life and without of this, the life is dull and incomplete of many of us. We can recall that this digital apprehension is the meaning of only Quran verses. That I have blessed the human with the great asset of knowledge. So this scientific blessing is the outcome of this holy verses of the holy Quran. So let all of us abide by this scientific blessing that is the digital area bless. Thanks for giving the patient here. Thanks a lot. Now I have a test, Now I have a test. 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 Now I have Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Today we are directing to the temple here to learn about the concept of digital India. This means our country should be connected digitally. Digital India is a program to prepare India for a knowledge future with a focus on being transformation. That is, to realize IT plus IT is equal to IT. Which means, in the status plus information technology is equal to India tomorrow. Dear listeners, our focus is on making technology systems and having change. Ten years ago, who would have predicted that people would be employed to maintain a company's Twitter account? So, the new computing curriculum is at the heart of creating more digital, positive, and adaptable cooperation. We teach here about coding and just teaching. The sixth part of change, but the new curriculum goes further, helping young people to think and critically and analytically and to solve problems in the real world. What's more, the new curriculum signifies a belief that digital skills are important for everyone, regardless of background or gender. We are saying Digital India is an umbrella program covering the whole world. It weaves together a large number of ideas and thoughts into a single comprehensive vision so that each of them is seen as part of a larger goal. We are very thankful to IT teacher who made us aware about the program in India. Our main motive is to make other people aware about the program so that the people of India may prosper in the field of technology. Vision of Digital India is central to three key areas. We are digital infrastructure, applicability to every season, garments and services on demand, and digital environment of season. Is it the type of Yes, of course. To be able to realize the vision of digital India, the basic infrastructure and underlying environment is mandatory. This is how we are the bachelors of digital India. Yeah, it should all be forward to provide realization of vision of digital India. Absolutely. Umbrella Prime Minister of India has already launched a digital India week at the Centre on Cultural and Digital 
and this was postponed by Honorable Chief Minister on 2nd July 2015 and SK and PC screen number. Dear listeners, let me quote an example here to make you understand better. If we have to make a state of it, we have to go to testing lot from one person to another, from one office to another, and which will look in anxiety and tiredness. And make this simple work very complex. And if I have technology, such as network connection, this work would be so much easy and so uh, interesting in being done as well. Yes, it's true. If we will have technology development in our nation, like developed countries, I'm damn sure that the time is not so far when our nation, India, will be one among the technologically developed nations. Dear listeners, do you think so? It's our responsibility to aware of camps regarding technology and development? Well, I don't think so. There's anyone who may object to this statement. Yes, of course, by God. It's our responsibility to do, to do this and most things and most sounds and most scenes and make people aware about all this. So, dear listeners, I hope that you will pay attention to what I'm saying and we hope, and we hope that you will willingly hold the radio program and make yourself feel proud that you have been put as part of this radio program. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you, Kozia and Ronak. Now I invite Raj Shari from Washington State. Honorable Principal, Government, Degree College, Football, Respect, Catholic, Teacher, and my dear friends, good morning to all of you. I am Sabeem, a student of Boys High School and so forth, wants to pay your attention towards the topic Digital India. On Wednesday evening, 1st of July 2015, the Prime Minister of India, Narendra Modi, taking forward the promise of making India a digital government place in the world. The Narendra Modi led government has approved the Digital India project work to be one Karo. The project happens to be Prime Minister Narendra Modi's dream come true. It has long been Modi's dream term. India e-government, the Digital India project aims to ensure that the government service are available, available to citizens electronically and help people by reducing paperwork. The best part of the, this initiative being it is also connected to rural regions and remote places, ensuring that they too have high speed in the services. The project will be monitored by the Prime Minister himself. The project is expected to be completed by 2019. The PM has sponsored to bring everyone under the umbrella of Digital India, India's talent plus information technology, or India's tomorrow. The first of this project will go up to rupees one crore. He also said that if the project requires more budget, then the government will consult E2, with this ambitious project, villagers will not have to travel long distance to the council department. Things will become easier for both those offering services and the consumer. To make the program smooth and use friendly and digital India advice. Group will be formed and will be chaired the Minister of Communication and IT. There will be an apex committee which will be chaired by the cabinet secretary and the expenditure Finance Committee or Committee on non plan Expenditure, the Digital India Project is the better version of the already running national e-governance plan. The Digital Pro India Project aims to provide plus to nine pillars identified as growth areas. These include broadband, highways, mobile connectivity, everywhere, public internet access program, e-governance, e-transit, which aims to give electronic delivery of sensitive information for all electronic manufacturing, IT for jobs and earlier harvest program. 
under this program, all central government ministers and departments will come up their individual projects that can be delivered to public using ICT like health service education, judicial services. The government will prefer to adopt public-private partnerships where are feasible for rolling out digital India program. Apart for existing e-governance projects, the central government is also planning to restructure national information Central which takes care of IT projects in government department. The government will also recruit more chief information officers, at least 10 significant ministers, so that based e-governance projects could be signed, developed and implemented faster. In fact, the Department of Electronics and IT will create positions within the department for managing the program. It will not be incorrect to say that making India disability connected will take into another level, making Sabka Saar, Sabka Vikas a genuine realistic thank you and nice day. Thank you, Rani Shabir, for this lecture. Now, I invite Professor Narayan Ji to throw light on this city, Rachel India. Professor Narayan Ji. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I respect it, Principal Dr. Mushtar. My dear colleagues, yes, secondly, yes, from the different uh, institutions and my dear students. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I am supposed to throw light on a topic which really does not belong to me as I am the student of economics but I find a close relationship between the program Digital India and economics. If you think a while, why all these plans, why all these programs are being launched either in your family or in the nation? The basic idea behind all this is that the resources which are at our, uh, 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 at our disposal, they are really secure in relation to our demand. For example, if we say Kashmir has so many thousand acres of land, we can say that it is very, very big. It is a huge uh, type of land. But when we relate it to the needs of the population, we simply say that we are deficient in food grain. And we always, especially state of Jammu and Kashmir, it moves with a begging bowl to state and other uh, and the center for food. And it is unfortunate on our part that being an agricultural state, we still we are deficient in our food grain. Anyway, and if we say that I, my subject, it similarly is the human behavior as a relationship between unlimited wants and limited means which have alternative use. Man, by nature, has unlimited wants. There is no end to the wants of a particular person or human beings in general. But to satisfy our wants, our resources are not sufficient enough that we can satisfy our 
demand at the same time. Had it been so, then there would not have been any program of planning and this planning we see that it emerges from the CEOC and the essence of planning is to make a choice. Then we say to make a choice, then one of the programs that has been launched by the Prime Minister of India, that is in Digital India. To me, as a layman, it means that uh, whatsoever services are being provided by the government to its inhabitants, uh, to the consumers, by way of the electronic media, you have a uh, what we say is a smart phone in your hand and the whole of the world is in your control as if the bus is under the control of the thumb of the conductor in the same manner it is within your fingerprints or gifts so you just touch your mobile you get whatever you want and this time we see recently a policy has been launched that is uh, uh, this uh, what we say uh, Janssen Yojana. What is that? It, again, it is an economic policy. If the uh, government wants that every penny which is being used, this should not be used in cash. We have this kind of concept of plastic money. You are having ATMs in your pocket. You need not to go to the uh, different offices for making the payments of different services that are being provided to you by the government from time to time. This time, it seems very odd if we will type of this, uh, uh, um, this paper. We simply will go to the, uh, what we call this laptop, it may be the desktop, it may be the uh, this, uh, laptop, or phone top, whatever models are available here. And wherever we go, you go to the Silicon City of India, that is uh, the Bangalore. Everyone is uh, acquainted with this knowledge and uh, they need not to uh, take help of anybody. And the basic concept of this to me, the digital media, is that we have to have everything at our disposal, at our command. And whenever we make use of it, we need not to go. They have advertised every day, can you go through the advertisement? Have you paid the bill of the BSNL? Have you paid the bill of that, that your father? He becomes angry that his son has not done the job. But in the summer moment, he uh, completes his job and says, Papa, uh, Papa, go push go, 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 This is all what he says. This is all a digital media. So to me, this is a part of learning. And uh, the basic idea is to make the best use of uh, the CTOs, the resources, uh, because India is a country uh, that is having more than uh, 10 billion. Um, population and uh, to me it is itself a wonder. It may be a uh, eighth wonder. Uh, it is not easy to uh, um, guide this uh, society and uh, take these uh, take people along with uh, and these are the parts of the planning and whenever we face difficulty definitely we have to come out a solution and that becomes a part of the planning. This is uh, what we I personally mean by the digitalization. Then we relate this uh, uh, digital India, the facility. We uh, compare these things with our college. You might be uh, going through these uh, monitors. All these facilities are in your college. This time I am speaking here. This is also digital part of digital India. You are in the smart classroom. We are having the high tech small smart classroom. Definitely that is coming up in our college. And you will have the other facilities you can talk to any part of the world wherever you want to talk. This time we find that uh, uh, shopkeepers are uh, rendered to, I should say, the unemployment because that you go for the items you purchase from your market, you go for online. And this is also the digital, there is a six competition. To me, I should say that there is a cutthroat competition between the employers and between the, uh, what we say, the suppliers and the consumers. And the consumer tries to get the maximum out of the minimum. And this way, we can conserve our resources and we can say that we are not less than anyone, or in other words, we can say we are second to none in all these facilities so far as these, uh, this digitalization is concerned. We are related to the other developed countries of the world, and we try to march on the path on which the developed countries are trying to go. 
this is what we mean by the digitalization of India. Thank you. Now I want to invite young master from Bharti Karsan, Sajjad Raman. He will say a few words.